All right, today we are going to install the Backlands Expedition Gear headliner shelf. It is an aluminum headliner shelf that's gonna go above the driver and passenger seat. We were just in Okotoks, met up with the crew there and picked up this shelf and a set of wheels. So excited to install this. It's aluminum, fully powder coated, looks awesome. Attention to detail, looks pretty rad. So let's get this bad boy installed. All right, so the first thing you need to do is take off these little clothes hanger things. So they literally just slide off there. And then you're gonna need a screwdriver or a power drill to take those off. And what bit are we using here, Joel? T20. T20, let's do it. So quickly screws out. Next step we have to do here is install this first bracket. This is gonna be the longer bracket and it's literally just gonna fit on top of that right there. And just screw it back on once you've got the screw holes lined up. Okay, make sure it's straight, nicely fitted. As you can see, there's not much of a gap there. Bent nicely to contour to the shape of the headliner. And then just slide the cap back on. So next step, when you look at your little cubby above here, there's going to be a little button kind of right there. So you're gonna have to pop that off. Not that hard to pop off. And then underneath is a screw that you're going to undo. All right, this next one is actually a T30. So you need to fit for that and then just unscrews. So as you can see, this is gonna have a bracket that's gonna have like the hole that's gonna fit in that for that slot. So we're just gonna place it up, up there. So for this one, you're gonna slide it in behind the plastic piece there. Just takes a little bit of wiggling to pry it open and then slide it into sp spot and then putting the bolt back in. Again, nice attention to detail here, nice contour, everything fits nice and snug. Same with this one here. Nice and snug to the headliner. Alright, so now we're just going to slide it up into place. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Need an extra set of hands there, Joel? So basically we just bought it, brought it from underneath and then slid it up along the brackets into place to where it will screw in. So because I am being completely useless and holding this phone instead of helping Joel, he's just using his shoulder and pushing the screw through there and then putting the nut on the back side of it just to get it kind of started. And then we'll do that for all of them and then tighten it off once that's all done. But. By doing it this way, you have a nice, smooth, clean finish where there's not like a bracket underneath it. So nice finish there. All right, so for all those people listening to this video that want to have a knee-jerk troll response to me calling it a screw instead of a bolt, I'm aware that it's called a bolt. I'm just really tired and only functioning on one coffee, so deal with it. Anyway, this is what the bolt looks like. So nice powder coated front finish to make it look nice and seamless. You got your washer and then your nut on the back. So just putting those in all four spots. So if you're having a little bit of issues getting those last few bolts in just because it's a bit snug, um, you can just loosen off that headliner bolt there just to create a little bit more play and then it should slide in no problem. And then just make sure you retighten it off afterwards. All right, so then to tighten up the nuts, just get an 11 mil wrench and tighten it up. And then make sure that you have all the other spots tightened if you loosened anything off to fit it in. And you're good to go. Quick and easy. All right, there you have it. Looks good. I really like the finish on it. Kind of that textured little bit of black finish kind of matches this texture a little bit. So looks good, lots of extra space. Excited to use it. All right, we're gonna check out a pull test here. Joel's gonna try and kind of hang off it a little bit here. All right, he is fully <laughs> hanging, fully hung off of it, and it didn't even creak, so sturdy as hell.